is Juliana and today I want to share with you guys this shabby cheek mini album that I created for the piece by piece Etsy store and uh, Beverly from the piece by piece she carries a bunch of chipboard sets um, some of them are mini albums some of them are just chipboard pieces that you can add into your minis so I had received a couple of chipboard pieces um, from my design team package and I use these pages over here so she sells a couple of these and um, I have three left and they're really nice because they're scallop on the edge which creates a really nice look and so I wanted to create a mini album with them so that's what I used and then I also used a couple of cooking um, silverware and things like that so there's the plate which is made out of chipboard and then to, here's the fork, the spoon, and the knife. So really awesome, you guys. You can add, you know, um, pattern paper to them, or you can paint them and do whatever you want. So that's what I used. And um, of course, I also used one of her gorgeous little um, teacup pieces. I had used... Um, the teapot and the teacup in my Prima canvas and I had an extra set so I definitely wanted to add it to my mini album. So this is what I came up with. I wanted it to be very shabby cheek and just all light colors and all. So this may be going to my scrappy room or actually my kitchen because my new kitchen is completely shabby cheek you guys it's all whites which I'm really really excited so I may have to sneak this in in my kitchen if my sweetie doesn't see it <laughs> but um, anyways let's go ahead and get started with uh, the mini album all of the trims and laces I use in this mini album is from the piece by piece so I just want you guys to be aware of that so I don't keep saying where it's from and then um, the seam binding is just from my stash so that's the only thing that I added that um, is not from the piece by piece trims so um, the paper I used for this mini album is by my mind side and I think it's called the sweetest thing I had bought a couple of sheets of paper from that collection a while ago and it's really really gorgeous you guys it's very shabby cheek so I got it because all the light colors is just so pretty so um, that's what I did and as you can see I kind of layer chipboard about chipboard type of thing um, here in the background I added the paper plate that I cover with the paper collection and I distressed the edges and then on top I added the little teacup which is so cool and then I just added some um, a little bit of white acrylic paint above the pattern because I wanted it to make it look more shabby um, and then here I also created a little bow using the trim with just the little flower there in the center and then um, in here there's the little teacup which is super adorable with another little bow that I made and then I added one of my handmade roses here and um, let's see, there's some little shabby cheek flowers on each side with these little embellishments um, that somebody had sent to me. I absolutely love these. And they look like, it reminds me of like frosting, you know, like candy. <laughs> and then um, I added a pink leaf here. It's like a velvet leaf with a little flower. And um, in here, I use this beautiful frame. This is also from the piece by piece. And it's gorgeous, you guys, because you can add cameos to the center. So I just added this cameo that I had in my stash. And then um, used the frame. And I absolutely love these. Um, and then let's see. Here is the spoon, the fork, and the knife. And what I did to them is I painted them with... Uh, pink acrylic paint and then I use some crackle medium to create the crackle effect and then I use some white acrylic paint over it so as you could see the crackles came out like very small but that's okay it works for me so it really doesn't matter um, but I really really love how it came out so just very shabby cheek I dove and I had this one in my stash just a plain um, white dove and then um, just added a bow here to kind of create like a little bouquet there with another one of these pieces and then here is the beautiful laces um, from the piece by piece so some of these come from France you guys so they're really nice light colors 
very awesome for layering so I just layer it over here and then um, there is this little tag this is by Melissa Francis it just says Queen of the Kitchen I had this for a while it's just a little tag and I like the vintage little girl there so I just added there so that's pretty much like the title of the mini album here so that's what it looks like on from the front um, to bind the mini album, I used some metal rings that I had, they're pretty small, and um, I didn't want them to be silver, so I just painted them with um, white acrylic paint a couple times in each ring. And then I added some seam binding just from my stash, kind of like the colors of the mini album, and then some ribbon. So there's just a couple of them here on the, on the top. So this is what it looks like from the side. It's a three page um, mini album. So didn't want to make it super chunky like I normally do. And then um, the back of the page here has, let me just go ahead and zoom in a little bit. Okay, so for the back of the pages, all I did is I just painted it white because I knew that this is where um, the recipe was going to go. And so I have this bunch of little recipes from my book that I have bought a while ago. It has some of these amazing recipes, like they're all sweet uh, recipes, which is my favorite. So a lot of desserts and pastries. And um, I really love the pages in the book, you know, it's really gorgeous. It has like the pink water and all and then it has this um little pictures as well and stuff and it's a whole recipe so i have actually made a couple of these before this one is the uh, chocolate caramel bars i haven't tried this one yet but i did try some of the cake ones and so all i did is i just folded it a little bit and then i added this um whoops i added this piece of trim here this is from the piece by piece and it's kind of stretchy so it holds my recipe here on the top. So let's see, it goes like that. So that's what I wanted to do because I wanted to be able to get the recipe out if I'm gonna use it. Um, so there's that page. And then here's the other page. And um, for this one, again, I used the paper collection. And then I used this chipboard recipe card and this is also from the piece by piece. It looks like this one so I just removed the metal part and then I just um, painted along the edges as well so that's what it looks like and um, I also crackle it so it looks like it's all crackle so I really like that effect and then I use this stamp set this is by um, crafty secrets and it says recipe so I just stamped it in there added this little guy here from the stamp collection as well and this pocket here just holds a couple tags from Melissa Francis as well and I just added a seam binding bow and then here's another little tag and this one says favorites and then this is another tag too so just really cool and kind of like shabby and vintage I really love these and so they just kind of go like that Okay. And then here on the top, I, would, I added this uh, pleated trim here. This is also from the piece by piece. I love it. It's all white, so just um, glued it across the mini album. And then here on the left, I created a little pocket, and Bev had actually sent me this pocket as well. And um, you believe you can find these in her Etsy store too. So this one has a little tag that looks like this by Melissa Francis as well, and it just goes in there. And then um, in here, I just cut out this little piece of paper from the collection. I stamped the little girl. This is kind of like a couple. Super adorable. And then I cut this out too from um, Melissa Francis. It says Delish. And I believe the collection is um, Kitchen something. I can't even remember the name of it, but I just used the tags. And then um, here, I added more trim on the pocket. And then just added some little flowers from my stash and then this beautiful embellishment as well. It totally looks like frosting. It just makes me want to eat it. <laughs> and this one too here. And then I just made a handmade flower with a resin piece. And um, I believe this one is also from the piece by piece. It's really gorgeous. It's a rose and it's like a cream yellow color. So I added that has my flower center into that mini album page. 
so there's that and then I'm um, going back here there is the next page which another recipe and this one it's bananas Betty so that's what it looks like and I just love it because this pages just goes well so well with this uh, mini album so just put it put it in there and I can add more recipes here if I wanted to as well there's space for that and then um, this is the other part of the mini here and um, this was really really fun to create so let's see where to start um, I had this chipboard cut out it's like a little jar and somebody had sent me this in a rack I believe last year so I had it for the longest time I just painted it white and then I used this little cut out of the jar from the um, Lisi Napoleon's collection or something can't even remember the whole name of it but it's really cute and I actually had bought the stamp too that says thanks a bunch so I just stamped the little jar there with the little cookies so that was my kind of idea of doing the, the Manson jar and then I added something binding with another little flower and then um, in the back I just added some fabric just to kind of create like a tablecloth type of thing and then um, here I used uh, the Sussex apron which is super adorable and I just cover it with the paper collection and it has the little um, what do you call these mints super cute um, little glove there and so this is another um, tag from Melissa Francis so she's super adorable there and it goes behind that and then this little salt and pepper shaker is also from the piece by piece and I just did the same effect with the crackle so really love how that turned out and then I just added another one of my handmade flowers with more of this flourish and then um, created this bow using um, the trims from the piece by piece so I layer some of the trims here so there's the pink one and the light green color and it's just beautiful you guys all her trims matches this collection really really well and I'm really happy about how the mini album turned out so that's pretty much the last page and it's just plain um, white here in the back so that's my mini you guys I had tons of fun making it and hopefully I can put it in my kitchen without sweetie getting upset <laughs> So there it is. I really, really enjoyed it. And I hope you guys like it too. And thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I will have more pictures available on my blog if you want to see more close-up pictures of it. And, oh, another thing too is this mini album um, stands nicely just like this as well. So, like I I just want to um, whoops, showcase it just like that. That's a, I'm able to do that too because of the shape and form of the mini album here. So that's it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for all of your feedback. And uh, please be sure to check out the piece by piece. I'll put the link below. And thank you so much, you guys, for all of your feedback. I will see you all soon. Bye.